Next, so bacteria, cell wall I will draw. Just remember the important things related to bacterial cell wall. Gram positive cell wall, gram negative cell wall. So first gram positive cell wall, it will have a thick peptidoglycan layer. This peptidoglycan layer is made up of cross linkages between the NAG and NAM, N-acetyl muraminic acid and N-acetyl glucosamine. Okay. So in the peptidoglycan, you will be having lipoproteins and you will be having a tycoic acid component. This tycoic acid is again divided into wall tycoic acid and lipotycoic acid. These are the two components. Okay. So wall tycoic acid, they are attached with peptidoglycan and cell membrane. This lipotycoic acids are usually outside or uh, they will be present on the surface. And these are the antigenic determinants of the gram positive cell wall. Okay. And the other component is tycuronic acid. This is rarely seen, but tycoic acid and tycuronic acid are the components of gram positive cell wall. Gram negative cell wall is a bit uh, tough. First, this is the cell membrane. So, in after cell membrane, you will be having thin sheets that is around 2 nanometer sheets of peptidoglycan layer. Okay. So, this is the cell membrane. This is the peptidoglycan layer. And after this, you will be having a special layer which is known as outer membrane layer. In outer membrane layer, you will be having various proteins. These are known as outer membrane proteins. Okay. They will mediate the protein channel. C, D, A, like that. They are having so many outer membrane proteins. Next, our lipopolysaccharide will be the component of outer membrane, but it will be projecting onto the surface. Okay. Now, the space between the cell membrane and outer membrane is known as periplasmic space. This is present in gram negative cell wall, not in gram positive. Okay. The space between outer membrane layer and cytoplasmic layer is the periplasmic space. So, here in periplasmic space, we will have a thin sheet of peptidoglycan, beta lactamase enzymes and here on this surface, you are having penicillin binding proteins and so many other hydrolytic enzymes and some of the other components of bacterial uh, metabolism. Okay. So, this is known as periplasmic space which is present in gram negative bacteria but not in gram positive. And for acid fast bacteria, we are having a special component mycolic acid. Okay. And for Chlamydia and mycoplasma, we are having a special component known as ergosterol. Usually in bacterial uh, cell wall or cell membrane, we don't have sterols except chlamydia and mycoplasma where we are having ergosterol. Okay, so this is about the cell wall. Thermophile bacteria are, there are three types. One is uh, the lower temperature which will grow around 20 degree centigrade which are known as psychophils and these are environmental bacteria and 20 to 40 they are known as mesophils. They are the human pathogens which will cause diseases in human. So, most of the human pathogens bacteria causing diseases in human belongs to mesophils which will grow the tem in temperature between 20 to 40 and some of them will grow up to 80 degree centigrade. These are known as thermophiles. Example is, yesterday we were talking about so many spores, bacillus stereothermophilus, geobacillus, uh, bacillus uh, subtilis, geobacillus stereothermophilus, all these organisms are thermophiles. Cycrophiles. These are environmental bacteria. 